What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade, basketball analysis. Coming to y'all with a quick video. I just wanted to talk about the Spurs, who has moved within four games um, to the Memphis Grizzlies. The Grizzlies has been struggling to close, finish games. And we knew that they would do that just because they are young and sometimes they can have problems with spacing. And it really hurts John Moran or Jaron Jackson when they have to take tough shots. Um, especially in the fourth quarter where things get more serious and people try a lot more harder and, you know, you actually plan for something now just because of scrimmages, you guys are just going up there, getting people some time, trying out different lineups. Now the games actually matter. They actually count. And the Spurs have been executing. I have been disappointed in the Spurs basically all year just because they haven't played great offensively or defensively in my personal opinion and the fact that they lost to Marcus Aldridge made me doubt the fact that they might not be able to literally get into the playoff just because of that and it might still hold true but one thing I will say is DeMar DeRozan has played excellent basketball I felt like he has been the best player on the Spurs for the last two years even though the Marcus made it to the All-Star game last year. I still feel like DeRozan should have made it. And he has been good in the fourth quarter, breaking down defenses, making majority of the time the right decision, knowing when to pass, knowing when to score, knowing when to collapse the defense, and knowing when, you know, reacting to what the defense is giving him and finding ways to find the cutters, find the shooters, and then sometimes just take over the game. And I feel like a lot of people have been saying that they don't have the brightest future because um, they don't have the most young talent. They do got guys like Pirtle and Lonnie Walker and obviously Derrick White and DeJounte Murray. But people don't really believe in those guys becoming a star, which they have an argument for people that do believe it just because they haven't shown that superstar potential consistently enough that you can trust that that will, that, that will be their trajectory in the last couple um, years. And even though I love me some, some Lonnie and some Derek, they do have inconsistency problems. They do have inconsistency even in shooting and playing defense. And the Spurs have always prided themselves as a teamwork t team, you know, making the right pass, not getting selfish, not being too ball dominant when it comes to having players and finding ways to get the best out of everybody on the court um, all at once. And that's what made them tough to defend, and that's what made the Spurs so special that so many people wanted to be them, so many people wanted to take what they do just because they were just so unstoppable and they were just so highly you know, prepared. And not only that, they had great team chemistry when it comes to both sides of the court. And this year and last year hasn't been like that as the Spurs relied a lot more on isolation with guys like LaMarcus Aldridge and DeMar DeRozan. And it's smart because Greg Popovich was able to continue to change up his defense and change up his offense depending on what personnel that he had available. And you have to give some credit on that because he changed it to having two bigs with David Robinson and Tim Duncan to making it more perimeter oriented to Manu and Tony than making it into a team that fits Kawhi Leonard as the best player on the team, and that got them to the Western Conference Finals. <coughs> and obviously, it got them even further because last year, people counted them out, thought they weren't going to make it to the playoffs last year, and DeMar and LaMarcus showed that they had enough to get there and even could have got to the second round if it wasn't, you know, some things didn't go their way, and they ended up putting them out, but they gave up a hard fight, and I predicted that they had made the playoffs last year, and I predicted the fact that they had, We'll have a seven-game series with Denver, and both of those things happen just like I thought, just because I have respect for what they are about and what they do. And the Spurs have always shown that they was great at developing talent, and I don't really see that changing anytime soon. And I feel like a big reason why we don't see Lonnie and DeJounte consistently go off is just because they rely on teamwork and they rely on preparation a lot. And, you know, once DeMar and LaMarcus is gone, those guys will have to do more. They will have to step up and they will have to be asked to, you know, go out there and play a different type of style and a different type of role because those guys won't be there to handle the offense. They won't be there to take the shots. Somebody else is going to have to handle the offense. Somebody else will get those 15 to 20 shots a game. 
And I think that that will be the time where we see what these young guys are really made of and what they really are about. But I looked at the Spurs' schedule. Their schedule isn't that bad compared to teams like Portland and teams like Memphis. Memphis already got off to a bad start, losing a couple games. And like they say, you only got to finish within four games in a ninth seed to battle for that eighth spot. And the Spurs, they're, they're – predicted to not make it nobody think they had a chance nobody had to make it they all thought it would be the blazers uh or the pelicans and the pelicans defense hasn't been good enough um to really become a serious threat because they give up so many points and it's so easy to score on them when they go up and down and sometimes they don't even be having a run protector on the court allowing guys to get right to the basket and once that happens then they can start kicking out and finding players open and then the Pelican just can't do it for 48 minutes either when it comes to executing offense and defense at a high level for 48 minutes. They haven't been able to prove that to me. And that's one reason why I picked them not to make it. And then you look at a team like the Blazers, Dane normally can really do so much. I know they were playing by Celtics today. The Celtics were blowing them out. They got hot, but they still failed to score just because you can double team and trap Dane and take him out of the game. It was going to require his teammates to step up and knock down shots, and if they can't do that for 48 minutes, plus defending at an okay to decent level, they're going to struggle beating teams that are, on paper, better than they are. And if they can't get a rhythm, if they can't get a win streak going, then they're going to be in big trouble trying to lock up that A spot in the West. When you look at a team like the Spurs, where their schedule isn't that bad, a lot of the teams are not that much better than them, and if they can get good performances, out of some wild card players and if they can defend a little bit better maybe they have a legitimate shot at at least trying to get the play in game everybody has counted them out everybody said that they was done everybody said they didn't really have a shot and now we have a chance to actually see if it's true you know you know Greg Popovich is not going to quit he's not going to give up and he's going to believe in his guys he's going to believe in the crew that he has with or without LaMarcus Aldridge, and they're going to go hard, play them with their style of play, defend their type of way of defending, and they're going to trust their guys that they have as a unit to go out there and give their best. And, you know, you still got to give, like I said, Popovich his credit and his, um, his part of the slice of the cake just because he's going to demand that from them each and every night, whether they're DeMar or not. Those guys are going to be prepared. They're going to go out there and compete. And they're going to give them so, them, themselves a chance. So I like what I'm seeing from the Spurs right now. I'm not saying that they will obviously make it to the playoffs. I'm not saying that they will take the eighth spot. But I like their, that they're more competitive. They, they have more of a style right now. And it seems like they know what they're trying to do with their offense a little bit more than I seen a couple months ago. And it actually seems like the younger guys – are being forced to step up and they have been able to do that even in the scrimmages and DeMar has still been able to play uh, you know pretty good all-star caliber basketball like he did throughout the last two years he has been able to do that so far putting the defenses in tough situation when they react and making them pick their poison every single possession I never thought I'd see a team like this play like this as a Greg Popovich team but he has been able to adapt the personnel and he has been able to change his style and his systems to fit what he has to, you know, do with the talent that he has. And that shows you how great of a coach Greg Popovich is. And that shows you why he continued to win so many year after year after year over 20 seasons of making the playoffs. And it's things like this and, you know, that make the Spurs and the organization, but only that Popovich so special to the NBA just because how they go about their business, how they play in in the games, and how they continue to find ways, no matter what the roster is, to go out there and compete and play at a high level and not make excuses. And they have done that this year, and it will be a good gift if they can, you know, take that eighth spot. But at the same time, I don't expect the Grizzlies to fall and just give up. They're a feisty team. They're going to go out there and compete. They feel like they can beat and play with anybody. And I think that they're going to be a threat to lock it up. But at the same time, if they don't, the Spurs ain't that far already from having a legitimate chance of taking it from them. And I can't see the Spurs beating them twice to, you know, to take that eighth spot. 
It's just about getting to that that chance of being within four games to compete for it. And if that's the case, the Spurs, to me, are proven that they have a different type of style right now. They believe in a lot of young players, and they're coming through and stepping up. And they're proving a lot of people wrong right now, even in the scrimmages. So I want to see what happens. I'm excited for them, and it's going to be interesting to see if they can actually continue to extend their streak of making it to the playoffs for another season. All I can tell you now is check out my website, analysisparent.com. Link in the description and comment section below. Like on Facebook to show support. Like this video, and if you like it, share also as it allows me to reach more people. That's one small thing that I ask you guys to do each and every time you watch my videos. If you're new or a subscriber, it really helps me um, grow the channel. Not only that, I do make videos just like this all over the channel so if you're new to the channel you like videos like this and you like what i bring to the table i got over a thousand videos on my channel and if you you're thinking about it just go ahead and click those videos and see what i bring to the tables i do do breakdowns of players legend coaches not only that summer league and also do cover the playoff prediction trade deadline free agency and also season preview top 10 lists and stuff of that nature so if that's what you love and you can't get rid of the basketball in your blood this is a channel that can give you that fix that allow you you know to have something interesting to watch every single day so i enjoy that the fact that you guys continue to watch and you continue to become um, very helpful in the success of this channel i really do appreciate it that's what i'm saying this right now but at the end of the day i don't really have much to complain about thanks for watching um also hopefully you guys enjoyed your weekend and i'll be coming back to y'all with another video on monday i can't take no days off that's another great thing about the channel as i try to do make a video every single day and i have so far done it for a while Quinn wait that's for announcements i'm gone and let me know what you guys think will the spurs make it will they flop or are they just getting hot for right now with teams favoring them out or do they have a legitimate chance of getting that a spot in the west let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as I do read every single comment um, that's posted. Good night.